it is it is green. Like I look at this and I see a green even on camera. Like it is it's green. Like I look like a whole freaking chia pet right now. So. <laughs> channel my name is Shantae and I know you're probably wondering girl your hair green I know it is so it is a St. Patrick's Day and it is also tutorial Tuesday so I had to come to it and do something different and what is different is having green hair that is definitely different for me so I got this spontaneous thought to try out doing hair using hair paint I've never used hair paint before um, every time I color my hair, I always use some kind of color, semi-permanent. Um, so this time, I was like, you know what? I want to play in some hair paint. I went to my local Sally Beauty once again, and I was trying to find something that was going to be temporary. Um, I was going to go with a semi-permanent originally, but I came across this hair paint, hair paint wax that they have, which, you, I mean, as soon as I wash my hair, it's going to come out. So this is the Poser Paint, and it is by Good Die Young. That's the name of the company. Um, they had other, you know, colors aside from the green. They had purples, blues, pinks, orange. You name it they pretty much had it sitting up there this is a, a green but it is called Kawabunga so I thought they were all cute matter of fact all the colors um, that come in this brand have these crazy kooky names that just like fit everything so I came across this one Kawabunga and I was just like okay we gotta we gotta try this one now this was kind of on the expensive side for this little jar so it's only 2.5 ounces and it was $18 18 dollars almost 20 dollars for this little jar and this is the box that it comes in it was 18 dollars for this now i you know i don't believe in paying full price for anything so i fortunately for me i had a 10 dollar reward card for sally beauty because i am a reward member so i was able to save you know at least you know half of half off for this product but it is very pricey. I feel like it's kind of pricey compared to the other brands that are out there. But unfortunately, since this was a kind of a last minute decision for me to try out some green hair for St. Patrick's Day, I wasn't able to like go on Amazon and order the ones that are like less than $10. And this is the only hair wax paint that Sally Beauty carries as of right now. So I kind of just had to suck it up and just pay for it. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this tutorial. Um, I now the instructions read that it says um, you have to stir well before using apply a small amount of poser paste to clean dry hair add more for a greater color intensity dries quickly so brush out for a softer look um, style as desired heat tools are totally fine wash out with your favorite shampoo so very simple now um i'm a curly girl and i just feel like if i would have tried to add this to my already dry hair it would just look really like frizzy and i just that wasn't like i just felt like that wasn't the look i was going for so i did freshly wash my hair and my hair was damp it wasn't soaking wet i did towel dry it so it was just damp and then with my hair being short it kind of does dry a little faster and then i went in with my favorite products as of right now the texture id i absolutely love my texture id collection the coils collection they recently came out with a coils edition to their brand and i went in with my daily moisturizing cream and my twist butter uh for my styling products and then i went in with the paint I did allow my hair to kind of let those products try to settle in my hair for at least a good 15-20 minutes before I went in with the hair paint because it, the product does suggest that your hair should be dry. But I didn't want it to be too dry because I didn't want my curls to kind of be defined and not too like crazy. Now they're not as defined as I would usually rock them, um, but I still have some sort of definition. I have more of an afro going on right now, as you can see slightly. 
I also went in wearing some gloves because I knew this was going to be messy and I didn't want to have to be trying to run to the bathroom to wash my hands and then I end up getting the paint on my walls or doorknob. Now, originally I went in like trying to like pat it in there originally and I just felt like my hair wasn't gripping the color like I wanted it to. And it's probably because my hair was still wet because like I said, the product does tell you to use it while your hair is dry. So maybe if my hair was dry, it probably would have gripped that product a little bit better. But like I said, I'm a curly girl and I just feel like you're just not supposed to mess with the curls once they are dry because that's how you get frizz. So I decided to use it with my hair being damp. So that was just, you know, kind of one of the little teasers of it. So I kind of had to play with it and you know tease the hair a little bit um there were some areas that i wasn't able to get so i kind of had to like part my hair and you know just add tiny bits here and there i used like a good uh, two and a half handfuls of this product so i still have enough in this little jar to at least do this look maybe two or three more times Now this is kind of chalky and dry, like it's not very creamy, like, I mean, it's, I don't know, the, the consistency to it just, it wasn't something that I favor. So this is definitely something just to play in, not something that I would just be like, yeah, let's just, you know, go for it every other day or every week trying to do this. Like this is definitely like a occasions kind of thing, like. I'm going out, I'm having a girls night out, we're doing something crazy and kooky, or I'm going to a festival or a concert. Like, definitely not something that I would be like, you know, let's wear this for everyday wear. But I, I think I like it. I like it. I do, I do like my end results. I don't think I really care for the actual, like, hair paint stuff. Like, I just feel like it's, it's definitely a temporary, just do this for the night kind of see me wearing this for a whole week without it being a mess like I can see this turning into a whole mess like I will wake up with green on my my bed and in the shower and it's just we don't need those problems so I'm definitely gonna wash this out at the end of the night um but it was it was fun to play with like just to have a temporary color like I said if this is something that you want to do for an event or something a special occasion where you want to have something fun and cool and crazy going on you know for it to be temporary something that I'm only gonna wear for a day $18 is definitely a little it's a little too expensive like, but honey $18 like why why is it $18 I don't understand and it's not like like legit I'm gonna keep this in for a couple of hours so I feel like you know $18 for a, a one day look I don't know, honey. And then it's supposed to be non-transferable, and I, I mean, it's flaky. Like, it it transfers because it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's very flaky. It's very, like, like, I can, like, up close, I can see all the flakes of the color in my hair. Like, it looks like this product buildup. <laughs> Now I'm kinda gonna kind of skim through my makeup routine because like I said, it's kind of the same. For my primer, I go in with the Prime and Peachy by Too Faced. I use about a pump and a half and I only use my primer in my T-zone areas because that's the only areas that really give me problems. I don't really have problems with my cheeks or my upper forehead, like the outside of my face. Most of my problems come from right here in the center. And then I go in with my NARS, um, natural radiant longwear foundation because I have dry skin I try to use foundations that are for that say radiance or natural glow I try to steer away from matte matte looks just don't look good on dry skin and I'm still kind of recuperating from my eczema ep episode that I had last year so I'm still using products that are going to enhance or add a natural glow to my face. So I go in with my natural radiant. So once I go in with my foundation, I then, um, and I use a nice fluffy brush to blend that all out. I then go in with my concealer. I ran out of my Uma Beauty Woke Concealer. 
it is so heartbreaking and I haven't had the chance to go to Ulta to pick up another one so I ran to the drugstore and picked up the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer and I got it in the color toffee which was a little too light it looked a, it looked darker when I picked it up in the store this isn't really as light as I like to go because sometimes it can leave me ashy looking and like I said I got dry skin we try to avoid anything that's gonna make us look ashy now once I apply my concealer I let it sit for a little bit to kind of let it settle into my skin and then I go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick and I just go in with the even New York pencil and I use the color natural black to fill in my brows I am very light-handed with my brow pencil or doing my brows period um, I try to go for a more natural brow I know before you know everybody was all into the sculpted like <laughs> You know eyebrow but now I try to go for a more natural eyebrow I go in with a beauty blender and I blend in my concealer where I've applied it under my eyes my center of my forehead down my nose and on the center of my chin and then we are going to go in and set this with a setting powder I go in with the Sasha buttercup setting powder she has been my ride or die day one setting powder like then go in with my contour and I use a Morphe contour palette and some shade that's like two or three shades darker than me and I just you know suck in my cheeks and I follow that line where I suck in my cheeks go down the side of my nose and I also turn that five head into a forehead so we don't look like you know crazy forehead chick and then go in with my highlighter and my blush I usually do blush and then highlight but I just I picked up the highlighter first and I mean it's fine like it, it still worked like it's it's still gonna end up on my face so <laughs> I went in with a gold shimmer because like I just love gold I feel like gold just really complements my skin my blush also is a pink it's, it's called juicy guava I just love After I apply that, I'm going to apply my mascara and we're going to add some lashes. Then for my lips, I go in with a brown eyeliner or a brown lip liner that I purchased from NYX at another drugstore purchase. And then for my lip gloss, I go in with a ColourPop. And this one is the color Crushing. And it's a nice pinky. Right now, I have been raving about the La Flair New York Mink Lashes. I use the 3D Mink, and this is the NY56. And, I mean, they just give me the natural with the added volume and length, and that's all I need. Thank you guys for joining us again for this St. Patty's Tutorial Tuesday of our green mini TWA afro with the sage, sweetie. And we will see you on our next video. Thank you. Happy.